solve the system of equations. Here are our two equations. Um, to solve systems, there are two ways we can do it, substitution and elimination. In this case, substitution would be kind of messy, so to speak, because we would have to solve for, say, y, then we have to deal with square roots and stuff like that. Instead, if we uh, just eliminate variables by adding the equations, we much easier. So here, what we can do is we can either eliminate x or y, but in this case I chose y, so to eliminate the y variable, I have to multiply the second equation by 8, multiply everything in the second equation by 8, so I have 48x squared minus 8x made y squared equals 80. Now when I add these two equations, the 8y squared and the negative 8y squared will cancel out, eliminate the y variable, and if I add this part, I'll get 49x squared, here I get 100, I solve for x, we'll divide both sides by 49 and take the square root of both sides. Remember the plus or minus square root of 149, which is the square root of 100, 10, over the square root of 49, which is 7. So x can either be positive 10 over 7 or negative 10 over 7. And so to solve for y, we're going to plug this back into either one of the original equations. I chose the first one, plug it in for x, and then we can solve for y. So here, 20 minus 10 over 7 squared. You, if you, it's kind of hard to do by hand, but on your calculator, you'll get 880 over 49. Divide both sides by 8 to get 110 over 49. Then take the square root. We get plus or minus 110 over 49, which is the square root of 110, which can't be simplified, over the square root of 49, which is 7. And so what this means is that if for the x for x equals 10 over 7 it could either be there are two solutions square root of 110 over 7 and negative square root of 110 over 7 those are the first two solutions and there are two more solutions if x is negative 10 over 7 and actually i didn't write it out but basically if i plugged in here for x negative 10 over 7 because i'm squaring it it's still going to become positive 